All right. Are we good on that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I just got a mustache hair in my mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, it's out the now. worst. <laughs> All right. Gun control is built upon lies. They know it. They know that they're lying. This there there is no there's like no, they're just mistaken. They're just ignorant. No, they're lying. You need to understand that there are people that are that are in our government that are not your friends, that are not honest people. They are liars. They want their way. They've decided that because they won a popularity contest, that they tricked enough people in their district into voting for them. Now they get to supersede and override the Constitution and they get to pass laws that do nothing. And here's the thing, Jared, this this assault weapons ban, what no one has ever been able to explain and what the media is not asking is, how is this going to stop crime? What is this going to do to address the issue of crime in America? Well, well, it's not. It's see, this bill is not about punishing or stopping criminals. It's about taking law abiding citizens and putting them into a position where they are criminals. No, it's to help save if it just saves one life. And yeah, I mean, that lie, the exact same people that are trying to disarm you because the children just had a collective meant. They just had a collective nationwide breakdown over the idea that they might not be able to murder infant babies on demand. The exact same people who believe that killing a newborn infant is a woman's health care right want you to be disarmed to save the children. It's lies. All right, so the first one we have here, uh, we have a, a uh, this guy's becoming famous for his lies, uh, and his, his name is like Cicilline or Cellini or Cicilline. He's a scumbag piece of human filth. Here, here's your action item as the listener. This is dumb, right? This What this dude is going to say is dumb, and it's worth making fun of. However... If you're in a situation where you've got friends around you or you're making fun of what this guy's saying, make sure that you preface it with they're using these lies to disarm us. So yes. they're taking this seriously. We can't not take this seriously. Yes. We have to take it seriously. So he's about to explain to you how a stabilizing and see, this is what happens when we allow them to create demons. And, and Trump's wrong. People are like, yeah, well, well, Trump in the bump stock. I never said he was right. I never said it was a good thing. I'm not a Trump worshiper. If, if I worship anything, and I don't, but if I, if I am behind anything, I'm behind the rule of law. I'm behind the Constitution. Oh, I don't care. I thought you were going to say the Lord. Our yeah. Lord well, no, I mean, yeah, that's true. But, you know, from a, this standpoint, I'm not look I'm not looking to the president of the United States to be my savior. It's just that guy is just supposed to be a place keeper. He's supposed to the job of the president is to support and defend the constitution, not circumvent it or go around it. Yeah. Here is I'm going to drop this in the show notes before Zach plays this audio, but there's an article that was written by this dude his name is uh, Professor Paul Markle. You guys might have heard of him. It's on studentofthegun.com. It's called 2016 Presidential Campaign Searching for a Savior. And if you would like an expansive explanation of what Dad was just talking about, you can go get it at that article. There you go. So this is what we this is what happens when we allow lies to go unchecked. Listen to this imbecile. You got it up, Zach? You got it ready? Uh, yes. Do I just start from the very beginning? Yeah, just it's not it shouldn't be that long of a clip. It's so this nine is minutes long. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Personal nine minutes. Dot com? Yeah. 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 This guy it, it's oh it's the only video on this on this page. Oh man. Interesting. Just go go ahead and start, start it. Start playing it. Yeah, start playing it. So this guy's um representative Ciciliani 
Siciliani, the freaking, and he's holding up a poster and he's pointing to it and he's like, this is a stabilizing brace and that's a, and that, and that's like a bump stocking. Well, listen to his own words. Yeah, so he's going to play the thing. We need sick recognition. I move to strike the last word. Gentlemen, is recognized. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I rise in opposition to the amendment. What this stabilizing brace, which is depicted here, when a, when attached here, it turns this weapon into an automatic weapon. This bumps, it becomes a bump stock. And so it will allow that to essentially be fired like an automatic weapon. That's the danger. So I have to very strongly oppose the amendment. Yeah, you can stop it right there. Flat out lie. Yeah. So Siciliani holds up a poster. That's only one lie, though. Clearly, he just didn't have the information. Holds up a poster, and he's like, well, when you you attach it, he's the thing is, he knows he's lying. And he's like crafting his lies. Like, well, it's 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 a uh, uh, when you attach it, attach it to what? Uh, it it acts like acts, it, it, it turns it into an automatic weapon. What? Because the they they're trying to make stabilizing braces. Uh, they're trying to outlaw them, right? Even though for the last ten years they're like, oh yeah, they're fine, and da da da. da. And what what heck came later on is one of the, the uh, uh, congressmen, uh, congressman, uh, I, one, I can't remember who it was. He said he shook his head and laughed. He goes, the Internet is about to prove you wrong. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, he shouldn't have said the Internet. I don't know why yeah, he should, Republican yeah. congressmen are such cowards. I would have said, stop, point of order. What you just said is a lie. What do you mean I lied? Can they not call out lies? So when you're in Congress, if somebody gets up and they f- they fargan write the damn time down Two when times. they they freaking lie, and and you know they're lying, you 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 just have to let it go. Well, I mean, my colleague here just told a bald faced lie. But I, I can't say anything because because then that will make me mean spirited. No, that is a lie. It is a straight up lie. And what's going to happen and what has happened is every time these guys go out and they tell a lie, their sycophant scumbag allies at CNBC and MSNBC and not. What they do is they're like, oh, yeah, just d- d- today uh, on the floor, Congressman Cicilline came out and he's like, explained how the, the, the stabilizing brace, you never heard of one before, but it turns, it's the same thing as a bump stock. And you're like, you never heard of that before. Well, well it turns the gun into an automatic weapon. And one goes, oh, we can't allow that. There's no reason in the world why an American citizen should be allowed to have that. First of all, where exactly in the Constitution of the United States of America does it make it your business what I own? Uh, It doesn't. Yes, I am. And uh, what you could point out, if you had a person in your presence that was willing to listen to, I don't know, historical fact and reason, You'd say, you know, in 1930, if I had a stack of cash, if I had $200 in disposable income, I could walk into a hardware store in America and I could purchase a full auto Thompson submachine gun and walk out that day. I could buy a Colt fully automatic rifle. I could buy a Browning, a BAR. Now, BAR actually stands for Browning Assault Rifle. Or no, it stands for Browning Automatic Rifle. I could buy a Browning oh. Automatic Rifle. Oh. A thirty out 6 Browning Automatic Rifle. If I had cash, I could walk into a hardware store or a gun store or whatever, and I could buy that, give the guy the cash, and walk out. How many school shootings... How many school massacres occurred in the 30s and the 20s? Well, what do you mean? Well, how many happened? Well, none, obviously. So hold on a second. 
there was a time and you know there was the, the background check was you shaking the hand of the of the guy over the counter that was the background check so the background check was i have money i'm a citizen and you are a gun seller i give you the money you give me the gun and i walk out that was it how many school shootings were committed by people with automatic weapons with machine guns in the united states of america well okay zero but what's your point what's my point is this there was a time in the united states that a citizen could walk into a store buy a machine gun and walk out how many mall shootings church shootings school shootings did we have in the united states when american citizens could buy machine guns legally over the counter the answer is none the answer is zero well what's your point my point is this it's super simple if you'd be willing to listen is it's not the object it's not the gun it's the people what have we done to our nation And this bill, if it goes through, it will do nothing to stop crime. Crime will continue. Violent crime will continue. Do you really think that the gangbangers in in Chicago and D.C. and Philadelphia uh, and New Orleans are going to be affected in any way by this? They've already proven that they don't care. No. Because there's they're already every criminals. Every three-day weekend, there's a record-breaking murder or shootings or is that it's not murder more, I more think it's just shootings well i mean uh, in real, chicago real, real quick funny thing so i was just going through facebook the other day just you know on the couch or whatever and i i came across somebody shared a story that said a 13 year old boy shot by a woman after after attempting to break into her car and pull and pointing a gun at her and i was like oh that's crazy and i clicked on it and said chicago i was like that makes sense <laughs> yeah well, the, the same the same weekend that the, the Greenwood Mall shooting happened, twice as many people were murdered and 10 times as many people were injured in Chicago by gang-related gunfire, but they, won't, they don't talk about that. Nobody has the guts to walk, to raise their hand and say, in the United States of America, citizens could walk into a gun store buy a machine gun and walk out and we had no mass murders well yes we did oh what about the gangland ah so the only mass murders that were committed were committed by organized crime were committed by criminals well yeah so because criminals because gang members are killing each other then you and i as citizens have to be restricted and punished let's let's go to uh the the next lie so they sent before they put the meat puppet into hiding and we're going to talk about that uh during the bonus hour before they sent the meat puppet into hiding before he fell off his bicycle like a mongoloid they sent him out to perpetuate this lie did hold on a second did you see just a quick aside about the bicycle thing did you see that it's now a tourist thing where people yes i saw that <laughs> yeah. people are going there and laying their bikes over and getting their pictures taken yeah <laughs> like it's funny but it's also not it's funny pathetic that we're that, we're that far that we're, is it's we're that the united states now embarrassingly pathetic yeah so you remember when sniffy joe the meat puppet when they instructed him to go out and say these these insanely idiotic words because because now all you have to do if you're a congressman is say i talked to a doctor and a, and the doctor told me i i remember i i uh, i don't remember when it was but but i, I sat down with a trauma doctor no you didn't when did you do that right after you confronted corn pop you lying scumbag and first of all if this doctor told him this then they need to be disbarred 
the fact is that people that are shot with handguns in the United States, 75% of them walk out of the hospital on their in their of their own power and volition within 24 hours or 48 hours. But that's that doesn't sell the the mantra. And I wondered where we were going with this. So Biden wants he wants to ban high caliber nine millimeter handguns. That's a whatever that means. I don't know what a high caliber nine millimeter handgun is, but does does it really matter? We just listen listen to what the the imbecile meat puppet said about a nine millimeter high caliber handgun. Play the audio, please. What Ratcliffe's doing hearings on the issue of what rational gun laws should be. It was during a period when I was a senator and the death rate was going up. Not that many more people were being shot, but the death rate was up. And I went, I think it was, a, I'm not sure, I think it was Kahneman Hospital in New York, whatever the largest trauma hospital is. And I sat with a trauma doctor and I asked him, I said, what's the difference? Why are so many people, there are not, not that many more people who are being shot. This is now 20 years ago, or 25 years ago. I said, why are they dying? And they showed me a, 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 a x-ray. He said, a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in a lung, and we can probably get it out, maybe able to get it, and save the life. A 9mm bullet blows the lung out of the body. So the idea of these high caliber weapons, is of there is simply no rational basis for it in terms of what is about self protection, money. Money. Dear God hey. in heaven. So, uh, first of all, why do they do these interviews in front of a running helicopter? For that's one thing. Why, why do they? Why do they interview him with a in front of a, a helicopter? That's winding up its engines so the imbecile meat puppet said i talked to a trauma doctor and he said a nine millimeter bullet blows the lungs out of the body the idea of these high caliber weapons there's no rational basis for it in terms of self-protection joe 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 the other thing was money has no basis in self protection or money. What? What? No, or you know, um, or hunting. He said hunting. No, he said money. He said money. That's what it said in the oh. in the little uh, what do you call those closed captions? I think they, he said hunting, but uh, that could, yeah, that yeah makes sense. And he and he says the Second Amendment is never absolute. You can't buy a cannon. You couldn't. This is when he said you couldn't buy a cannon when the Second Amendment was passed. Yes, you could. You couldn't go out and purchase a lot of weapons. Yes, you could. There was no restrictions. Okay, the militias, which were the people, which were the citizens, not the government, had cannon. They had the same rifles. They had the same freaking muskets as the the British. But the idea, and didn't, and does anybody raise their hand and say, hey, Joe, What? Are you protected with Secret Service? By the Secret Service? Yeah. Why? Yeah, but they're carrying a forty-five. No, they're not. They're carrying Sig two two sixes with nine millimeter. With the high caliber nine millimeter. They're Joe's personal bodyguards. Oh, he's gonna blow the lungs are, out of people. Are carrying nine mil. There's no rational basis for self protection for a high caliber weapon like a nine millimeter. Joe, do you know that the number one issued cartridge for American law enforcement is the nine millimeter? So you're telling me that you think it's good that the state has a gun that will blow your lungs out. I thought that was bad, Joe. <sighs> oh, dear God. So idiot Joe on may 30th goes out and makes this stellar statement about how we need to ban high caliber nine millimeter handguns that hold more than 10 rounds what 
What are you even saying? You imbecile. You don't even know what you're saying. So that's the solution. I figured out how to kill COVID. What? Shoot it with nine yeah, millimeter hand. Nine millimeter bullets. You yeah. blow his lungs out. Blow the lungs out. So that happened on May 30th. So two or three days ago, a, a genius congresswoman uh, took to Congress. She took to the floor. Now, she she gets in and it's her turn to talk, right? So she rambles on about all kinds of nonsense. This is only a minute and 46, so we could play the whole thing. Yeah, go go ahead and and and, pl- and this this hurts me. Uh, the listen to the lies of these people. So, Joe said on May 30th that he talked to a trauma doctor and the trauma doctor told him that if someone gets shot with a high caliber like a nine millimeter it blows their lungs out they have no chance of survival so listen to this this genius listen to another democrat liar telling lies there's a reason that we never see the images after a mass shooting There's a reason that the screams of little boys and little girls in Uvalde were edited out of the video that everyone in this room has surely seen. I've spoken to doctors throughout the years who have spent time in emergency rooms. Our handguns, they tell me, often create small and very subtle wounds, wounds that can even be difficult to find. Assault weapons are a completely different story. When the call comes into the hospital, doctors are told to prepare for a mass casualty casualty event. Nurses are asked to find every gurney and wheelchair that they can find. The medical staff call every surgeon that they can contact. The dead and the dying arrive in waves. Doctors assign the wounded a color. Green means flesh wound. These patients will survive without treatment. Yellow means a bullet in the chest, and they could die within the hour. Red means these children or churchgoers or parents or patrons have only minutes to live. The trauma surgeons see them first. Black means that there's no longer a reason to spend effort or resources on the corpse coming through the doors. Floors in these hospitals begin to look more like a battlefield. Doctors turned army medics doing everything they can to stop the bleeding and to remove bullets and body parts that will keep patients alive. The doctors must deal ceaselessly with the pain and panic of the frightened victims, many of them terrified at the blood on their clothes, praying to their God that they will not die. Their God, not God, but their God. Okay, so then her text in here, she didn't even say the thing that was in the text. It says, with the assault rifles, exit wounds can be a foot wide. So the victim's skull she, explodes on impact. Organs rupture, bones shatter, the shards serve as shrapnel and tear tissue to pieces. There is a reason we never see the images after a mass murder. Many of the bodies no longer exist. So this genius, first of all, what about what she just said justifies the disarming of 330 million American citizens? what about what she just said justifies that first of all it's 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 pandering it turns into a i i really am a as someone who's been in war it is offensive to me when these scumbag politicians talk about it's a battlefield it's a war zone it's a no it's not and you don't know what you're talking about and you're a liar she tweeted to her imbecile followers there's a reason you don't see the images from after a mass murder the bodies no longer exist the victim's skull explodes on impact really but she said that handguns leave a relatively small wound so she talked to trauma doctors but joe said he talked to a trauma doctor who said that the lung it blows their the lungs out. The largest trauma hospital in America, he said. Yeah, 
the largest trauma hospital in America. In New York. And he told me. Or in New York. In New York that, that it blows the lungs out. That's why they have no chance of survival. And then Sugar Bridges here says, oh, well, with a handgun, it's, you know, many of they don't even know. And and then, and, and. Well, hang on a second. Your, your boss there just said, uh, the head of your party just said that it blows the lungs out, which is it? And what nobody says to Ms. McBath here is uh, McFly, aren't those the exact same guns carried by the police? The same guns you want to ban and make illegal for American citizens to own are the same guns that you think the police should have to shoot the people. Isn't that hypocritical? Why do you think that members of the state, that employees of the state, should have these horrible, monstrous man killers? Why is that a good idea? Nobody asks that. Nobody asks them these questions. Um, someone might raise their hand and say, hey, Miss McBath, you say that these black rifles, these AR-15s, these 223, is it's so powerful, and it makes their heads explode. As a matter of fact, their bodies no longer exist. Yeah, that's what's said. Right it, they no longer exist. So if that's the case, why is did the U.S. Army just allocate six billion that's with a b six billion dollars to replace that cartridge with a larger cartridge what what's a cartridge so the 556 the 223 is so powerful that it it vaporizes the body of who it hits it makes the skull explode the bodies no longer exist it's so powerful that the that the army is going to spend six billion dollars replacing it with a different cartridge with a larger one because the army said it's not powerful enough <laughs> so the united states army and the u.s pentagon said hey we need a cool six billion to buy all new 6.8 cartridges why because the 556 isn't powerful enough but i thought it vaporized i thought the 556 vaporized people well it only vaporizes people if it's in the hand of an 18 year old democrat if it's in the hand of an 18 year old u.s army soldier it's not powerful enough and we need to buy new stuff you see in just 30 minutes, we demonstrated a, the lies, the purposeful, deliberate lies. It doesn't matter what the truth is. What matters is that they disarm you and that they control you. That's what matters. And if they have to go to the House, do they have to, if they have to go to the floor of the House of Representatives and look into a camera and lie... That's what they'll do. They'll, but, but they'll say they talk to a doctor. I talked to a doctor, and he said it becomes a battlefield. Okay. What happens when a school bus crashes? Do they do, they do the exact same thing that, that Susie just said here? Well, but that's different. Mm-hmm okay sure maybe you might want to control your democrat voters and keep them from going into churches and schools and and malls and killing people maybe you might want to do that maybe you might want to answer a question for me why is it that when the american people could go into a hardware store and legally buy machine guns that in the united states of america we had zero mass murders in churches schools malls whatever According to your logic, no one should have gotten out of the 20s or 30s alive. What's the difference? And what will be the difference after you pass this bill? What will this bill do to stop Democrats from murdering innocent people? 
well, nothing, but it'll punish the heck out of Trump voters. Because, you know, all them Trump voters are all like country boy, redneck gun owners. And we've been trying to punish them for years. We've been trying to figure out a way to punish Trump voters for years. And if we can punish them by telling them that they can't have that gun or they're going to we're going to take it away or whatever, that's what we're going to do.